parents come in. I'm very concerned with her infant that was probably 11 to 12 months old um, with some, some communication issues and maybe some gross motor skills and I would say probably by 15 months already a huge difference in how amazed she was and how thankful she was that the service was there for her and the family. Uh, we all see these success stories and the most common ones are the most common things we see which are going to be you know one specific problem that with some short-term therapy can be um, addressed and there's, there's good catch-up and the child is discharged from services and everybody's happy. Um, so with gross motor delays and sometimes fine motor delays, speech delays, but I think to for us, the bigger success stories, I think, have to do with the kids that are in the autistic spectrum. We're seeing so many more of those, and also the NICU graduates that that start off with, you know, they've got a they've got a long way to catch up, and those children will have with both of those examples. I can think of success stories where um, where. The, with the help of multiple therapists in the home and then the therapists in the main office help transition them to um, um, a um, service through the, through the school system when they were three. The, those those longer-term success stories, um, those therapists help us so much. Um, the early childhood educators, the occupational therapists, the speech therapists all working together. That takes a lot of work, a lot of communication.